Hello! In this video, I will show you how to do advanced make painting using Blender. As you can see on the screen right now, I have a scene where I make a futuristic version of Bandar. And you notice like the buildings and all, it's actually just a box of meshes on the background which get composed together to create this kind of scene. Without wasting any more time, let's start with the basics. The first thing that we need to learn is to know how to import video files into Blender. And you can do that easily using import plane image as planes. And to make sure that we can do that, we have to go to edit, preferences, and add add-on. Make sure that import image as plane is enabled. You can also save preferences so you can use it on any other project as well. Once you do that, if you press Shift A, you should, you should see this menu with image and image as plane. You click that. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my file and look for one of the video that I wanna put into my composition. The thing is, my video is actually a transparent file, and Blender can support that and add it into um, giving you the flexibility to put more stuff into it. And to make sure that your video has transparency feature, make sure it was uh, rendered in MOV and not MP4 and any other uh, formats that doesn't support transparency. Okay, I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna import image as plain. Okay. And now you see this gray block here, and you didn't see anything. And that's because we didn't change our rendering settings set. And to do that, we have to go here on viewport shading, click it. And now we can see our video. I'm gonna rotate my plane in 90 degree. Okay, cool. You can see how transparency is actually working in our video here. If you have a problem where the video doesn't um, show up the transparency, make sure on blend mode, blend alpha. If it doesn't, it will look like this. Change it to alpha blend. Okay, another thing, uh, another issue that we encounter using this kind of um, stuff is we have this additional shine on our um, subject which is kind of okay if you want to have to really like the, the character and stuff but sometimes we don't want to have that weird um, glare on our character like a, a flat 2d plastic feel so let me show you what's what i meant so i'm gonna make a, uh, a point light here i'm gonna move it and change this into c light and you can see how plastic our character looks like right and that's because in our shading on our uh, video it's not really correctly added into it so we need to go to shading and in our shading we have uh, this thing our material for our video if you didn't select it make sure you select the video file to show up this material. Okay, now if you look at the specular, and I'm gonna change this to rendering mode. If I increase the specular, you can see how worse it gets. So I'm gonna remove our specularity to remove that uh, glare to it. And now it acts a little bit more better. And another thing we can add is we can increase our roughness. And that's it. And if you have a scene where it's too dark to see, especially on the background now, you can plug in the color data on our material and add it into emission. Now it will be more emissive. But we don't want to have that, so we're going to remove it. Right, now you know how to import a video file. But before we move on, there's another thing that we need to talk um, tackle about is when we move our frames in the end, 
and if I move it way more than the current frame you can see our video is still playing and that's because our current frame does not match with our scene frame and to fix that we have to open up a new workspace so first we're gonna plus this and then on VFX we're gonna go motion tracking we're not doing motion tracking but this is uh, another way to actually um, set our scene frame based on the video frames so we're gonna open it up again and locate our video open up the clip and then click set scene frames and now our frames will be matched with our video frames which is kinda neat but before that uh, we can see in our video has 59.94 FPS and that's our frame and because our rendering mode right now in the current default frame rate is running on 24 we need to change the frame rate as well so on output properties change the frame rate into 59.94 and now everything will be okay so we're gonna go back to layout and you can see it's rendering really well so we're gonna go to the end and if I move it will not do anything on our video alright cool now we have a video file 